Hello guys, it's Sharif here with Engadget, and I'm joined by Mark Shuttleworth, the founder of Canonical. They're the people behind this particular branch of Linux, which is Ubuntu. And here we're looking at Ubuntu running on a Galaxy Nexus, a third gen Nexus. Um, Mark, tell us about this. So this is the full Ubuntu operating system. It has all of the same capabilities and facilities that Ubuntu on the desktop has, uh, but it has the new Ubuntu mobile interface, uh, which is kind of a distilled version of uh, the Ubuntu desktop interface. Mm -hmm. uh, so people will be familiar with uh, our launcher, which is on the left, um, and uh, uh, we also have indicators. So all of the capabilities that people are familiar with uh, on sure. the desktop. So right left, left edge swipe to get your launch bar with your yep. favorite app, so a limited number of apps can go in there. And then do that top edge uh, one again. Right, so these are your system indicators. You yep. can go straight to uh, you know whatever you want, if you want to mute or uh, if you want to uh, um, switch your networks, then you can go straight to it without losing your place. Yeah. So compare that to the iPhone experience where you have to um, find the settings app, then you have to um, find the right setting, then you have to um, change it, and then you have to go all the way back to the home screen and find your app again. Um, this is much faster, much cleaner. Okay, uh, so each and each icon along there, along the top, that can you can use that. Although it's it's giving you information, it's also right, a so direct path to settings. Exactly. So all of the settings behind those pieces, network, audio, uh, messaging, and so on, um, all of those pieces are, are usable. The messaging story is like a, a consolidated inbox. So I have there, or um, any any application can can deliver messages. Skype, uh, Facebook, Gmail, anything can. Mm -hmm. can I uh, can pop messages in there. That makes a lot of sense. So no, we obviously uh, multitasking is very important to people on their phones, um, and that would be with the right edge swipe or. Well, so your apps are always here, so you don't have to go back to the home screen, right? So you can you can you can bring up a gallery app uh, like that, mm -hmm. uh, or if you want to make a phone call, uh, that's down here, um, and so you can have any number of um, apps running at a time, uh, and you go back uh, using the right edge. I so, see. So you can you, you can scroll back through your your apps just to quickly switch back exactly. to the, to the last And if app. you just flick all the way across from the left, then you'll see all the running apps. Uh, you can search for an app and. Uh, and is that as that's as close as we, as we get to the to the home screen? Is this but this uh, well, big that's swipe kind there. of like a shortcut just to the app portion of the home screen. Okay. Uh, our home screen has different pages, so everything's neatly organized here. I've got videos. Um, for people who are familiar with Ubuntu, these are just the standard sources. Um, uh, scopes we call them for things that you can search uh, in the desktop so apps videos uh, the home screen is kind of like a search everything yeah. uh, anything you want story um, how did we get back to there from 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 within an app uh, so you can do that you can either essentially launch it like like that using this bottom launcher over here so there's so you launch there's, home basically exactly okay um, or if you're um, if you're if you're in an app for example if I'm in the uh, gallery app, um, and I want to just see all the apps that are running. I can just do a, a shoot across the whole lot, and uh, and, and then I'll be. So in it's there. all swipes and no buttons. Yep. So no no special buttons. Mm -hmm. um, the only buttons on the device are power, volume up, and volume down, um, and uh, and and you get really quickly to to anything that you want. Okay. So the top edge system, left edge apps, right edge takes you back. And bottom edge? Um, the bottom edge is inside an app. So for example, here in the gallery, uh, if I use the bottom edge, I'll get my toolbar like that, which I can dismiss just as easily. Got you. Pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So uh, that leads me to, 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 to the first of two questions. And the, the first is, you know, you talk about buttons and hardware. Um, can anyone put this on any Android phone? Yeah. On what, what, what other phones? You know, I mean, how's you know, this going to work? Just like you can install Ubuntu on your PC, you'll be able to uh, install this on a variety of phones. It's up to the manufacturer whether it's possible to essentially unlock the phone in the way that's needed to install Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. uh, and and we have a huge community. We expect folks uh, will will help us make images for a, a variety of different devices, uh, and that's really important both for people who want to extend the life of a device with a fresh new experience but also for developers who want you know, quick access to try out the, the platform on a couple of different devices. Um, but the real path to market is through partnership with the handset manufacturers and with network operators. We've had really great uh, conversations um, and, and those are shifting gear now that we can talk publicly about the experience. Uh, and we do expect devices to ship either in the last quarter of 2013 or the first quarter of 2014. Okay, great. And so my last question is, why would a manufacturer, or indeed the, the, the consumer, the, the customer, want this over a regular Android? You know, if you could distill the reason in one, it's one thing. 
Well, I think for the, for the low end of the market, what we have here is a crisper, more beautiful, cleaner experience for people who are essentially going to use the device um, as a phone, but also for the web and email. In other words, people who, who are using a relatively limited set of applications, um, that's, a, that's a much cleaner experience and, and simpler and tighter experience than Android. Um, uh, so you're and, saying it makes better use of the available hardware um, than Android? or uh, Yes, because we have native applications, developers can kind of squeeze everything out of the hardware. That allows us to, to deliver a really clean experience, a fast experience on, on low-end phones. Um, and on the high end, because this is Ubuntu, we essentially have um, the full desktop available. So if I dock this, I can get the full Ubuntu desktop. And using thin client protocols, I can get Windows applications. And I can manage that device like you can manage an Ubuntu desktop or an Ubuntu server. So enterprises that are currently managing thousands of Ubuntu machines in the cloud or thousands of physical servers or thousands of desktops using a tool like Landscape um, can now manage the phones with exactly the same, device, with the same tools. Uh, that's pretty extraordinary. Um, uh, all of the things that people love about Ubuntu, regular updates, great security, a crisp, clean user experience, all of those things uh, now for the phone. Very exciting. Cheers, Cheers. Mark. Thanks a lot. Cheers.